Hi Pisces. Um, welcome to your reading for the week uh, or the, your horoscope. I'm sorry. <clears throat> for the week of October 9th to the 15th. Uh, this week is going to be a relationship reading. It doesn't have to be about love, but it probably will be, especially since that's what most people are focusing on right now. Um, oh, excuse me. But regardless, think of a person, whoever you want. We're going to pull three cards. One is going to be the theme of this relationship. Two is going to be um, what inner part of you is coming up to be dealt with within this relationship. And then three for some advice. Okay? So, Pisces, what part of you is coming up to be dealt with? Energy. Look at her face. She looks a little mischievous, doesn't she? This is the Knight of Wands. Hot and cold energy, come and go quickly. Love bombing. Energy vampire. So when you or them are wanting attention that is when they come on strong or you come on strong but then when uh they have had enough then you know they, they release you again or you release them again so hot and cold energy okay that's the theme um what is the inner part of your you that is coming up to be dealt with right now <clears throat> The part of you that cannot handle being ignored. The part of you that feels like you are needing attention, that you're needing nourishment. The part of you that is impatient and panics and feels like you might lose something or not make it. Okay. Part of you that doesn't feel worthy the part of you that doesn't feel strong okay so that's what you're dealing with right now i'm sorry that kind of sucks i mean everybody deals with it but it just sucks that you're dealing with it right now what's the advice do you still love me i feel like i'm losing you oh that's more confirmation that what i'm saying is true okay but the advice you cannot lose something that is yours. If it's divinely guided or um, part of your destiny, if it's destined to be, you can't lose it. So it, the advice is to kind of practice some detachment. It's okay that maybe things aren't as vibrant and attractive towards each other right now as they once were or that as they probably will be again. You have to be a little bit more resilient, have a little bit of patience, um, but don't do it in a way that's like, oh my gosh, I'm such a fucking loser. I can't even handle this. No, it's nourish yourself in this time because it's nobody else's job to make sure that you're being nourished. And if you don't take care of yourself, then you're going to start getting shitty and expect other people to take care of your needs for you. You're going to get very complacent, uh, very bratty. Okay, you, you'd like to um, avoid that. Uh, you could come on very strong and that's okay, but why not make sure that it's true? I mean, why not make sure that you're nourished as much as you can possibly nourish yourself? And then if you still have those feelings of wanting that person to be around, well, damn. That means that they're really something that you want around. It's not something because you feel depleted. Okay? So I hope this helped. I hope you have a great week. I love you and we'll talk again soon. Bye.